right, your time now, 614. Right now, there are more than 400,000 children in the foster care system, and one member of the Cleveland Guardians is doing his part to make sure they know they matter by using words of encouragement in letters with love. Such a show of great commitment and a kind heart. Don't you love mm -hmm. it? John Rutter live from Progressive Field. And John, this is a home run. This is a home run all the way. Yeah, a grand slam home run. You know, everyone needs a few words of encouragement now and then. And for a foster child, those words can make more than just your day. This season, Guardians pitcher Cal Quantrill and his wife Easton have made it their mission to collect letters for foster children, proving that a handwritten note never goes out of style. These words may seem simple. We put out supplies and letters just happened. But they speak loud and clear. It's nice to know that you know something that we feel good about is actually having the, the impact that we wanted it to. Their sentimental scribbles laid out in a letter with love. We just wanted something that we could care about. We wanted something that, that didn't feel manufactured, that did, wasn't forced, that we were excited to do. This year, Guardians pitcher Cal Quantrill and his wife Easton have been partnering with Letters to Foster Children. We spend a huge amount of time in these communities that we play in. It becomes our home. And we have this unique job where, you know, a couple hundred thousand, a million people might see me do my job, but I never get to be a part of their lives. And collecting handwritten letters with the hope of spreading positivity, confidence, and love to foster children throughout Northeast Ohio. It's created this avenue for us to kind of get outside of this bubble that's baseball and, and, and touch some lives. The cause hits close to home for Cal and his wife Easton, his wife gaining three cousins from the foster care system. She just felt like this was something that, that had impacted her life and she had seen such a positive, you know, it, it was such a positive impact that we wanted to, to use that as kind of a, a segue into something we could do. So the Quantrills have been asking anyone, fans, staff, and of course players, to step up to the plate. Most of the clubhouse has written at least a letter for me and uh, I, I, like I'm, I'm super proud to say that I did not force that, that that was, you know, kind of just natural and, and organic. They just saw, you know, saw something that mattered to me and, and they participated. Writing letters with love to share with foster children in the community. I think you'd be surprised and happy to know that they are more than just athletes. There were some pretty creative things drawn and, and written. Using the power of positivity to strike out the stigma with a few kind words. If you catch me walking around Cleveland, you can give them to me. If, you, if you're asking for an autograph, I'll trade, uh, trade autographs for letters. Cal also said that Stephen Kwan and his girlfriend gave him seven letters to hand out just the other day. And we just learned a little while ago that Cal and Easton will be hosting 20 kids here for each of the Guardians postseason games throughout Wild Card Weekend. If you'd like to send a letter, you can either drop it off at the ballpark or you can send it to fan services and you can just write letters with love on that letter and they will get that where it needs to go. What a great story for these guys this morning. Feeling the love up here this morning. Just yeah. watching this again, John. Awesome story.